Well, in spite of some problems that you came to us with, the examination showed that you can have children. See, I told you so. Then why can't I get pregnant? You're not the problem. Your test, Andre, reveals some genetic problems that cause infertility. That doesn't make any sense, Dasha, come on, we'll find a normal doctor. Adriasha, please, let's hear it. Come on, what examinations? Well, you to hell, all I went to the car. Daria, please stay a while. I'd advise you to think about IVF. Artificial insemination. Wait, you said that Andre. If you're serious, you need a donor. I warn you, it's not cheap. But in your case, it's the best option. Talk to your husband about it when he's come down a bit. Goodbye. Thank you. Excuse me. No, no, no. I don't want you to get pregnant by some guy. Come on. Wait, Andrew. There's no man, just biological material injected into my egg. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to know it. It's enough for me that it's just not my child. It's all anonymous. We will never know who it is. The main thing is that we will have a child. We wanted. You wanted. You always said that a family without a child is not a family. Andreish. Andreish, where are you going? I want to go for a walk. Where have you been? I didn't know what to think. What's this? Money for IVF. Let you have, let us have a child. Your happiness is more important to me than anything else. Andre. Dashalia, I'm home. Dasha, where are you? Dasha, are something happened? I took a test. Negative again. I don't know the result yet. I can't see it. It's the third time. We've been trying for almost a year. What if it didn't work again? Well, if it didn't work, we'll try again. We don't have any more money. I'll find it. Go look. No, I can't. You do it, please. We're having a baby. <laughs> we did it. I love you, oh. My God. Oh, my God.
Yes, darling, hi. And I bought you your favorite goodie, Napoleon. Why did you spend the money? I can make it myself. So you promised me not to cook. Andrew, I'm pregnant, not sick. Do you want me to lie on the couch only all the time? You read my mind. You worry too much. How are you feeling, by the way? I feel great. I miss my baby very much. She pushes her legs all day. You put your hand on her tummy, she usually calms down. Though, but without you, it seems to me that she loves you more than me. Can it be? Andre. 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 And I also want to do business, like my dad. But to open a network of clothing boutiques, I am well versed in fashion. Dad supports the idea, says he will invest in it and after school he is going to send me to business college in London. And then I can practice in my dad's company. Oh, yeah, stop telling me you have a rich dad. Elisa. If she had one, she wouldn't be walking around in holy sneakers and an old cell phone. She doesn't have a father. Alice, be quiet. Thank you, sit down. Thank you. I devoted my whole life to him. I cooked his borscht, I washed his socks. Mrs. Judge, she's lying, she lies, and very brazenly. Patience, I'll get it done. He was just working on his career, and now that he's achieved everything, he can leave me. What do you need me for? You can find someone younger. Why are you sitting here? Why are you sitting here? What are you paid for? You're my lawyer, come on. Patience, it's coming. And most importantly, Mrs. Judge, what he wants to leave me in exchange for my kind kindness, a broken heart, a maimed soul, because I have nothing, absolutely nothing. Madam Judge, I believe I can count on half of his property. Bitch, you're such a bitch. Wait a moment. You're such a bitch. You see. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, please. So you're saying you've been washing socks all this time. It's very sad, but I'm glad that all this time you were recording photos and videos of your miserable life and generously shared them in social networks and I want to bring these interesting photos to your attention. I have a question, did everyone there manage to wash their socks? I want to remind the court that according to the prenuptial agreement, the cheating party gets nothing. But I didn't cheat on him. Well, then I hope you don't mind if we watch some interesting videos. Screw you. Asshole. I'm sick of that, Alice. You're just new. That's why she's having fun. No, it's not that, Katya. It's just that her father is very cool. That's why she wears expensive clothes. Forget about her. She's just a fool. No father can help her with such a diagnosis. I don't know. I still feel like a bum compared to them. You're not the only one who feels that way, but I'm not worried. She's afraid of me. I go to judo. By the way, let's go together. Is judo for a girl? It's for everyone. Especially if we have a lot of handsome boys at the section. My mom won't let me. I have heart problems. Let's go, or we'll be late for class. Mm. 
I took care of the salads, you do the hot stuff, okay? Got it. Can you lend me a couple thousand before payday? Where do you put your money? You're always asking everyone for it. Remind me, you don't happen to have a teenage daughter, do you? I see. Thank you. Jana, hi, how was school? How's it going? I'm good. I passed my essay. I'm going to the last class. Why aren't you in the mood? It's a long story. We have an emergency. I'm on my way. It's very beautiful, very beautiful. Good afternoon. The customer refuses to pay the bill. I am the administrator, Daria. How can I help you? Dear Daria, here I may be looking somewhere wrong, but you know, I looked and so and so, and even from afar looked, and here I do not see my discount of 40% in happy hours. Where'd it go? I explained to you that the promotion has already ended, so the discount is not taken into account. I just looked at my watch and ordered two minutes before the promotion ended. Well, I punched in the order afterwards. Sweetheart, don't make your problems your customers' problems. It's it's not about money, it's a matter of principle. Yes, I understand. The point is that at the bottom of our menu there is a small remark that the discount is considered not when the waiter took your order, but from the moment when the waiter punched it. Is that right there? Yes. Do you have a microscope to read this? No. Too bad? All right. Then, listen, Daria. Well, let's meet in court. I work there as a lawyer. Will you come? Yes, you're right. The font is really small. We treat you to this wonderful lunch on the house. Have a good day. Come to us again. Let's go, girls. Daria Aya. Is he really a lawyer? Yeah, he's kind of a big one. He works right next door. Lucky me. Is it tasty? Yeah, mom. mom. I need a new cell phone. I can't survive at this school without one. I'm sorry. But I really don't have the money. Well, maybe you should get a better job. Genius. Or why don't we take out a loan? Yes. Let's take a loan, but first we'll pay off all our previous loans for your room, tuition, and then we'll take another one. Listen, I have an idea. And let me earn money myself. You take me to you as a waitress. I can after school. That's a great idea. Sure, let's do that. Let me work hard to pay your tuition, and instead of studying, you work as a waitress so you can buy a fancy cell phone. Cool. If my dad were alive, he'd buy me one. All right, I'll fill in for your dad. I'll figure something out. Yes. Yes. Yes? May I? Leonid Arkadovic. Only I'm not alone, I'm with a friend. 
a bottle of expensive foreign currency whiskey, for the next are you and I are best friends. I can't, I'm at work. So where are the cops in this kingdom of law and order? Oh, you want one, don't you? I can't either, I'm at work. Just a token of my appreciation for a job well done. Have you seen my boss? You know how strict she is. If he catches you, you know there's gonna be trouble. I'll get you out of it. I'll get you out of it. I'm an investor, you know? I'm the most valuable client. I'm Klopakov. Come on. For your work. Can you imagine what she told me? Give me half of my assets, actress. I'm grateful to you and my advice to you is don't get married. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Leonid Arkadivik. Hello, Tatiana and Drivna. Yaroslav, come to my office immediately. Sure. So what? You didn't get me off. When I see your headmistress, I get scared. I'll probably finish my bottle at home. I'm not distracting you, well, I left. Come on, come on. Drink to my untimely demise. May I? Come in. Did you call me? Yaroslav, you surprise me. Thank you, I try. Drinking with a client in the workplace. I was clever. I didn't want to offend the client. I know how important he is to us. Don't dodge. You know you can't get away with it and you know how strict I can be. You are just scary and anger, Tatiana Andreevna. I love it when you punish me like that. Come on, be smart. Don't worry, I close the door. Tanya, I forgot a folder with important documents at the restaurant. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Remember where we left off. Tanya, my nerves are shot. Calm me down and tell me that tomorrow in court everything will be as it should be. Everything will be fine, Gennady Ivanovich. Yesterday another court session took place. The defrauded depositors are eagerly awaiting the end of the trial. Shcherbakov faces 10 years in prison, but people are more concerned about whether their money will be returned to them. I'm not serving this psycho. Daria. Hello again. I had lunch at your restaurant today. Oh, good afternoon. It was delicious, by the way, but you remember me, right? Of course I do. It's hard to forget you. You know, I was so enamored with you that I forgot a very important file. Have you seen it? Is it just me or has your tone changed a bit? So you've seen it. I don't know what you mean. Daria. I admit I was a little over the top, and your font was unreadable. I agree with you. That's why I've already asked you to reprint the menu. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Listen, Daria, you know I... It was nice to see you too. Listen, help me. I'm exhausted. That Skrbakov has drained me of all my juices. And Potapov calls ten times a day. Who's that? His assistant. He follows him like a shadow. 
So how's the process with Shkurbakov going? Well, you know, I can't discuss it. No. But I can give you a hint. Hint, of course. You're on TV every 10 minutes next to Shkurbakov. So, what do I look like? Well, you can't tell right away, but I can give you a hint. Come on. Give me a pen, one, two. Okay, I have an idea. So I'm going to take a shower. And I go to the bedroom. No, you get changed and we go to dinner at the restaurant and I want you to wear the blue suit I gave you. Oh my god, here we go, come on, Tanya. Yaroslav. Not enough, Stepani. Tanya, I feel like you talk to me the same way at work or at home. Sorry, change your clothes, please. Listen, I have an idea. Let's not go out, let's stay home. Because it feels like we only come here for the night. I can bake a chicken, what do you say? <laughs> well, if that's what you want, let's stay home. Where are you calling? Now. Hello, restaurant. Yeah, well, thank you, goodbye. The answer came back from the bank. Sorry, but until you pay off all your loans, we can't let you. I see, thank you. Anyway, these idiots hired a team of lawyers, ten of them. I'm not kidding. And instead of working, they're fighting amongst themselves. Can you imagine? Are you listening to me? No. I'm listening to you, Tanya. Can we talk about something other than work over dinner? We can. We've been living with you for two years, and it feels like we have nothing else to talk about. Come on, suggest a topic for conversation. And the topic is, remember my friend Grisha. He's a great hacker. Not a hacker, and a guy. Grisha Sisserhands, who in one minute can cut any computer. How many times did you get him out of trouble? I remember he was almost wanted through Interpol. Look, it wasn't his fault then, his unscrupulous partners delivered him and in general friendship is a round-the-clock affair, but never mind, in general. He now lives with his wife in the eco-settlement Sunny Meadow, well. They have a site there. He calls for a visit. What do you think? Eco-settlement? Yes. Unexpected. It's like without electricity and the benefits of civilization? Kind of, yeah. It's like a retreat with nature. No. Still, I'm for privacy, but with air conditioning, jacuzzi and a favorite man. It's nice to have me in that order right after the hot tub. Well, let's drink to that, all right. Girls, girls, who else got it? Yeah, I got one too. What did you get? An invitation. It's Alice's birthday. It's an invitation to the water park. Imagine a whole day at the water park with all the slides, lounge chairs, and a personal waiter. I haven't gotten it yet. You don't have to wait. Cheap phones just don't get invitations like this. It's not cheap. It's a normal phone. What's this one? What is it? Give it back. It's just the kind of phone your mummy probably used to have. Mummy. Forget about them. You don't need that Alice with the chickens. Look at my blouse, my bracelet and my hair. Too bad I don't have a brain. I have a credit card instead. I use it to put my head on the ATM. Thank you, Katusha. But at least I have you. How long are you going to keep following that girl? Hello? 
Oh, yeah. Of course, I remember. Yes, yes. What do you mean cancelled? Uh, hold on. It's closed. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Good morning. Or not. A case I've been working on for two months, now they say it's closed. How is that? Well, your work is well done. Wait, I mean, today was supposed to be the last session. It's a complicated process. Well, any complicated process can be solved if you know the right people. I get it. So what? Why is all this necessary? I would have won everything without bribes. Well, I acted in the interests of the company and the client, as a boss. Tanya, wait. I think we agreed when I went to work with you that you would not meddle in my affairs. Was it like that? I helped you on the contrary. I didn't ask you for help. Why did I bother for two months? Tell me, why are you so angry? Tanya, listen to me for once and let's not put it all together. Work, relationships, let's talk normally. Jesus. What do you want? I want the same thing we agreed on, that if I get a case... Yes. I have every opportunity to see it through, preferably victoriously. Fine, fine. You now have the perfect opportunity to see it through. Tana K. What? What? Are you even listening to what I'm telling you? What? Nothing. Good afternoon. Wait here. I don't believe my eyes. Yerik. Grinya. Sorry for not calling. Hello? Well. Hi. Hi. Finally waited to visit. Well, yes. Where's your Tanya? I'm without Tanya today. I'm not here for a long time, to be honest. I just came to get some air to talk, to discuss. Let's go for a walk. Let's go. It's so nice here, I would live and live. So tell me, why are you so tortured? You're fed up with your Tatiana, right? It's not that bothered. It's hard to work with her. Who makes you do it? Yeah, that's right. Nobody's forcing me to do anything, but I think it's time for me to do something on my own. I told you a long time ago, open your own office, you'll be your own boss. Well, that's easy to say, it's not easy, especially now. It will never be easy. Freedom in general is not simply given, but what's the point without it? I realized it, I immediately left here. You're good, well. 
and I think it's time for free swimming. Well, if you've come to your own way, there's no point in resisting it. Live as you choose, just don't forget about me. <laughs> Grinya, what are you saying? How can I forget about you? I'll probably need the sight. Of course you do. Listen, we must go fishing with you. Let's go. Let me show you what Dennis did. Let's go. Thank you so much. It was delicious. You're welcome. Did you do that on purpose? It was an accident. I asked you to wait a little bit. It was an accident. I'm telling you, I came out of school and I was followed by one. So, if you broke it on purpose, you'll have that phone until you're old. Why don't you listen to me? Don't slam the door. We've just renovated apartment. Why are you following me? I have a present for you. The newest model, you need a phone. How do you know? Well, I saw your friends laughing at you. You did? I don't understand. Who are you? Just a man who wants to give you a present. Don't. I don't know you. Well, if you won't take it, let someone who needs it more take it. Are you out of your mind? Klepikov just called me and said that he no longer needs the services of our company and that his affairs are now handled by you personally. Yeah, I am, and I'm opening my own office. What? Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. I've even picked out the premises. Listen to me. Is it really bad for you to work for me? Very well. It's just that we shouldn't work together anymore. To hell with all this not about relationships. How could you steal a client from me? I didn't steal anybody. I just told Klaipakov that I'm leaving this company. He asked me to continue to run his business. That's all. Well, we'll see about that. Go ahead, take a look. Wow. That's even cooler than Alice's. He just gave it to you. Kind of. That's weird. Weird? Why would he do that? How would I know? Maybe. I don't know. He has nowhere to put his money. Or maybe he wants to be your daddy. You, come on.
Hey, what you got there? Give it to me, give it to me. What is it? Mom, a man gave it to me. I don't know him, but listen to this. What man? I don't know him. He just came over and gave me a cell phone. I didn't want to take it at first, but he left it on the bench and left. Why did you take it? Because you're never gonna buy me one. And if I had left it there, it would have been picked up by some homeless people. That's it. I gotta go. No, Jana. You have to give it back. To who? I don't know him. Then throw it away. Throw it away. Are you crazy? Everything. The court has put everything in its place. I gotta go. My conscience is clear. And what do you say to the depositors who are left without money? No comment. The depositors think you bribed the court. No comment. What? You know, I think it's him. Who is he? The man who gave me the phone. Shcherbakov's been accused of raiding and fraud more than once, but it looks like he's gotten away with it once again. Jesus, do you have any idea how serious this could be? I must be imagining things. Okay, bye. Jenna. I have to go, Katya's waiting. Where are you going? Wait. I'll call the police now. Don't. I came to talk. I'm Yena's father. Who? I can prove it. I did my best. Even donated to the clinic you were going to once. So? It must be hard for you to understand. It's hard to have so much money and not one soulmate. A few months ago, I had a terrible depression. The feeling that nobody needs you and everything you do is meaningless. I'm gonna cry. So I decided to go to a clinic and find out if I had children. It's anonymous. Yes, it's anonymous for the donor, for the client. But the clinic still records and collects all the information. And money can buy a lot of things. What's next? When I found out that I have Wayne, it completely turned my world upside down. She is growing up without a father. And you know that too? Yes, I know. I want to meet her and I want her to recognize me. She already found out from the news. We watched it together. By the way, the court acquitted me. Listen, I can make it so that you will not need anything. We don't need anything. We don't need anything from you. Don't judge people based on news stories. Look, I don't care what your background is. Just leave me and my daughter alone. Goodbye. Are you pretending we don't know each other? Why are you embarrassing me by walking me to school like a little girl? I'll come pick you up after school, too. After school, I'll go roller skating with Katya. I promise I'll be wearing a helmet. Will a helmet help you with your heart defect, too? Mom, it's just roller skating. Listen, there are things you can't do and you have to realize that your life depends on it. Can I just go to her house then? Well, you work anyway, Katya, and I will go to her house together after school. If I see him again, I will call the police. Promise? I promise. Look, you promised. Bye. Bye, bye, run. This is a government-issued stand. I'll give it to you. You were right. 
By the way, working together was not a good idea. Come on, let's go out. I can't. It's late at the office. Cancel it. What's up? So what's up with Kliprikov? What about him? It's the same. He's the one who decided. But nobody forced you to agree. Why are you getting so worked up? Nothing. Let's decide. Let's decide. Tanya. Dasha, bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Are you still at Katie's? Yeah. I'm done. Do you want me to pick you up? Yeah. Okay, bye. Rough day. Oh, hi, yeah, well. How can I say this? I just left the office I worked at for two years and decided to open my own practice. Well, that sounds like good news. Well, it's just that my girlfriend and I were working together and work was getting in the way of the relationship, so I thought it would be better to leave. Does she agree with you? I hope so, but I'm not sure. Maybe you didn't explain it well enough. Well, how else can I explain it? But look, you've given me an interesting thought. If I give up a client who is important to me, she will realize that my relationship with her is more important to me than my work. Great. Thank you. I'll make it up to her. I'll go over there and talk to her. Good luck. Thank you. If you're going to be my daddy, I'm not interested and I'm very good at shouting loudly, and I can also call the police. I'm your father. My father died 15 years ago. He's not your father. He's nothing to you at all. You're my nobody. But about that, you'd better talk to your mom. I see you took my present after all. I just didn't know how to return it, take it. Here's my phone number. If you just want to talk, call me any time. Thank God you're home. I was just about to call. Sit down and eat before it gets cold, come on. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? What's wrong? He talked to me? That guy. He chased me outside. Why didn't you call the police? You promised me. It doesn't matter. Jesus, what did he say to you? That he's my father. What a bastard. So how can he? So it's true and you've been lying to me all my life. And that my daddy Andre is my real daddy. 
Janet K., please listen to me. Just don't lie to me, please. I'm not going to lie to you. Andre and I wanted a child for many years. We couldn't make it, we couldn't understand why. Then we found out that Andre couldn't have children. All we could do was an IVF procedure. We went to an artificial insemination clinic. For this procedure we needed a donor, but it was a complete stranger. And so he became this stranger, didn't he? I don't know. Maybe he's crazy and made the whole thing up. Mom, I'm asking you, please don't lie to me. I'm not lying. This procedure was completely anonymous, even if it is him. He's a donor and nothing more. Cool, so all my life you've been lying to me and I thought the wrong person was my dad. Great. It's for your own good. That's your theme right there. It's for your own good, and no one asks me what I need. Jesus, what am I doing wrong? You're doing everything wrong. You put me in this fucking school. I didn't ask for it, Mom. Because I'm thinking about your future. I'm working for it. I'm doing everything. You won't let me play sports. Jenna, you have a heart defect. It's no joke. Yeah, great. Please, please, can we talk like adults? Great. Why did you tell Yana everything? Doesn't she have the right to know the truth? Don't you have the right to interfere in her life? Am I not her father? Donor. Dasha, I want to help you. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid of people like you. I can see right through you. You always pretend to be kind. And then it turns out that you need something. Look. I'm a rich man. I have everything except communication with my family. She's not your family man. She's nobody, and just because you were biological material doesn't make you a father. Understand that, and leave us alone. Unexpected. Good morning. Good morning. So this is where you moved to, and you sleep here? Yeah. When I make some money, I'll rent something. What money? Do you realize what you're getting into? Without me in this business, you'll be crushed like a bog. You're worried. You can't sleep at night. I wanted to apologize. It's for catching me with Klaipakov. But I wasn't sleeping with him. I was just flirting. I wanted to get my client back. How did you get him back? Anyway, Yarek, it was a mistake. And by the way, I turned him down. My company won't be handling his cases, so you can take the client for yourself. That's great. He called me too. I turned him down too. Do you have anything else? I'm asking you very much. Let's calm down and forget about all this nonsense. Tanya, honey, I'm absolutely calm and I have a good memory. Close the doors when you go out. It's blowing. Here, I want to pay off part of my student loan today. Your loan is paid off. How, when? All your loans were paid off today. What do you mean? Here, you can see the statement for yourself.
Понятно? I see. I told you to leave us alone. Did mom take out a loan for five years? Is it real or is it a Chinese fake? It's original. Girls, calm down, pay attention. Vo, who is it? Hello, Hello. Jenna. Is yeah, that you? Why are you, are you silent? I wanted to ask you if it's true what they write about you on the internet. What are they saying? That you're very rich. True. But this money is not only mine, you're my daughter. So it's yours too. Really? Seriously? Why are you being so formal with me? Hi. Hey. What are you doing up so early? Oh. I took a personal day. I can't think about work. Let's go to a movie together or wherever you want. I have homework to do. Go ahead and do your homework. Yeah. Mom's here. Where were we? We're at the point where you can call me by my first name. Okay, I'll try. Because you're my dad. I heard who you were talking to. Are you eavesdropping? He's a criminal and I'm afraid to think what's in his head and why he's so attached to us. He's not a criminal. Did you see the story on the news? If it's not enough for you, read about him on the internet. Do you believe everything you see or read about, M.M.? Well, that's what envious people do in business. You're so naive. You're naive, but I'm 15 years old and I can decide who I want to hang out with and I don't want to discuss this anymore. Please leave my room. Come on, then you won't talk to him at all. Mom. What? Give it back, please. Jenna, stop, Yana. What's wrong? I couldn't make it out on the phone. Did you have a fight with your mom? Uh-huh. Let me talk to her. No, that's okay. I'm sorry I bothered you. I know just the thing to cheer you up. I've only seen models like this in magazines. Let's go to the fitting room. Hi. Hello. Thank you. I'll call you if I need you. Yes, I'm here if you need me. Are you okay? You've been in there for half an hour. Yes. What something didn't fit? Let me call a consultant. No, no. I don't need to. I just saw the prices. Don't worry about that at all. Come on, let's see it. 
Ну-ка, давай покажись. Шикарно. Классик, классик. Шикарно. We're taking everything she measured. There's something missing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> How do you like it? I'd raise it up a little bit here. Okay, let's do it. Oh, sorry. Pick up the phone. Hello? Is Yana with you? Yeah, we're taking a little walk. Is something wrong? Bring me the child immediately or I'm calling the police right now. Mom. Yes, and she's very angry. But I can understand her. Are you defending her? She's worried about you. Don't you feel sorry for her? Yeah. Let's get the check and I'll take you home. Wait. Can I do it? Let's do it. Can I have the check, please? Where have you been besides America? Well, it's easier to say where I haven't been. And you? Not anywhere yet. I've always dreamed of going to Barcelona. There's a very cool amusement park there, but we've never had any opportunities. It's not a problem. Mom, please don't swear. What's wrong with your hair? I've had enough. I'm going to the police tomorrow. Mom, come on. We're just going for a ride. Jenna, go home. Go home, please. What is this? They're little souvenirs. You're not taking anything from this man. Give it back. I will because no one gives me gifts anymore. Goodbye. Really? Look, you're getting angry. I see you don't understand nicely. It's you who don't understand nicely. Jenna, breakfast is ready. You're not going to school like that. Why not? Yana, don't try my patience. Get changed and let's go to breakfast. Mom, hurry up. I'm waiting for you for breakfast. Okay. Yana, wait. Yana. That's great.
Воображаемый. Мамка, что, квартиру заложила, чтобы тебя приобрести? Listen. What an idiot. Where did all this come from? I didn't recognize you. I told you my dad bought it. Dad, you mean? I mean, yeah, dad. Why are you showing off so much in front of them? Do you want to be like them? Well, it's better than being lame like. You mean like me? I didn't mean it like that, Katya. I didn't mean it like that. In this column, I want to see income, not expenses. But as long as the construction site is still standing, we can't do that. Permits are pending. I'm doing everything I can. How much longer can we wait? Depends on how much money we're willing to lose. Not how much. Well, in that case, we dig a pit, build a house, and then solve the permit issue for money. And Tanya fends off all the losses. It's the same as always. Okay, let's get to work. I'm not used to it. By the way, Tanya, did I tell you about my daughter? Do you have children? Can you imagine? The boss found his biological child. We even had a little talk with her. She's an incredible girl, very smart. Because I think you've been in such a great mood lately. Yeah, I finally realized that I'm not born on this earth. But there's a catch. The girl's mother doesn't want her to see her father. I want to sue for custody of her. When do you want to start the trial? Yesterday. I've wasted too many years. I don't want to waste another minute. Text me her info. I'll write a statement and rush the court. Thank you. Walk me out. Have a good day. Have a good day. Sapina. Shkirbakov. Good evening. Good evening. Everything okay today? Great, as always. May I? Please. Excuse me. You're a lawyer, right? Something like that, yes. May I consult with you? What? What's she doing sitting next to him? I don't know. Wow, you've never even met him. No, I don't even know how he found us. I'm curious, you know who Shkurbakov is, right? It's bad, right? No, all people are equal before the law. If the donor signed a waiver of rights to the child, well, with a good lawyer you have a chance. What kind of cases do you specialize in? Divorce cases. So you've also dealt with child custody issues? Repeatedly. Could you theoretically take on my case? You know, become my lawyer? Theoretically, of course. No, I realize that I can't afford you, but believe me, I'm sure I'll think of something. It's okay, we'll work something out about this issue. Thank you. Sorry. No. 
but neither in the database, nor even in the archive. I don't see it anywhere. You don't see it anywhere, so you're telling me. Yes, I'm saying that Daria Lapina has never contacted us. That's odd, but she says she did. We keep strict records of our clients, and if I say she's never been here, it means she's never been here. Now you've convinced me. There's no question about it. But maybe we should look harder. What are you implying now? No, I'm not implying. I'm trying to keep you from a big scandal that could damage your clinic's reputation. The reputation of our clinic is impeccable. I don't doubt it. Goodbye. The thing is, there's no record of you ever having been to this clinic. What do you mean, no? Shkirbakov probably made sure all that data disappeared. Why? Just like that, you remember him. He'll show up. And we won't have any problems with your Yaroslav. We're not together anymore. He doesn't stand a chance against me. That's your first client. I empathize with both of you. Thanks, Tanya. I appreciate it. Aha, uh -huh. so let's go. And therefore, as a donor, Mr. Shkirbakov has no right to custody. Stop calling my client a donor. I remind the court that we have not been provided with any evidence that Daria Lapina, let alone my client, visited the Echo Clinic. Not yet, but Mr. Shkirbakov himself doesn't deny being a donor. My client didn't say that. He said it in a private conversation with my client and even showed me the papers. I ask the court to disregard this statement. The party has no evidence. Sustained. Then I have a question for Mr. Shkirbakov. How did you become Yana's father? Sixteen years ago, Dari Lopina and I had an affair. But it's not true. Why are you lying? Silence. Explain to your client the rules of behavior in court. But it's not true. I got it. I got it. Calm down. Go on. We slept together a few times, after which Dasha said she didn't want it to continue. I didn't know she was married, apparently for the same reason she hid the pregnancy from me. Since then, we have not communicated. Well, let's say that's true, but still, what makes you think you're Yana's father? You said yourself that Daria Lapina was married at the time. I had my doubts about that to Yana, so I ran a DNA test using some of Yana's hair. The examination confirmed my paternity. Objection. The samples were taken for the test without the mother's consent. Objection sustained. Well, then we request an official DNA test. Objection. There's no probable cause. Objection overruled. I find sufficient grounds. So wait for me outside. I need to finish my conversation. Wait, Mom. Why didn't you tell me anything? Is it true that you had something with him? No, of course not. In general, let's discuss it with you at home, go. If the test confirms paternity, what will happen? Well, the court will ask Jana if she wants to see her father. It will be taken into account when making a decision. Oh my God. Just talk to your daughter and everything will be fine. Come on, I'll drive you home. You're awake, may I? Uh, sure, listen. Uh, 
Why did you lie to everyone about IVF? Why do you believe that crap? I met him the same time you did. I almost lost you once already. I don't want that to happen again. Mom, please don't bring it up. You were born so small. So tiny. And then they told me about your heart. I remember how you were lying in the ward with tubes and wires. And the doctor said that only a miracle would help you. I was alone with no husband. No money, no job. A baby in my arms. And you know, I stopped believing in miracles then. But the miracle happened. You survived and I survived with you. I won't let anyone ever hurt you and I won't give you to anyone. Please remember that tomorrow at the trial. Mom. The DNA test results confirm that Mr. Shkirbakov is the father of Yana Lopina. The court also takes into account Mr. Shkirbakov's intentions to participate in his daughter's upbringing, including financially. Yana, I'm asking you to come to the stand. Do you understand the meaning of what is happening here? Yes. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Would you like to see your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. In that case, I see no impediment to allowing Mr. Skirbakov to see his biological daughter two days a week on weekends. I'll pick up Yona on Saturday. Please. I can't accept it. I can't imagine letting my daughter go to his house. And you'd be hurting the case. You have to accept it. You have to obey the court's order. I'm sorry. I'm separated from my ex. I have to sleep at the office. Have a seat, Daria. I filed an appeal. So we need to strategize now. Yes. Would you like some tea? I don't want anything. We have to prove that you actually went through the ER process. How do we do that? I'm sorry, just one second. Yes, hello. What do you need? Appeal, are you serious? Yarek, we know each other well, you can't win this case. Then you have nothing to worry about. I'm calm as a bow constrictor, that's not why I'm calling, we can negotiate. Oh really? You opened your own business, you need money, talk to your client, convince her that Shkirbakov just wants his daughter, there's nothing wrong with that. Are you offering a bribe? I'm offering a settlement as lawyer to lawyer, so what do you say? Listen Tanya, we We've known each other for so many years, and you don't know me at all. I don't work like that. I'm gonna win this case, okay?
Everything okay? Yes, everything's fine. Shkirbakov's lawyer called. They got excited when they heard about the appeal. So we're on the right track. Do you know her? <laughs> of course I do. She happens to be my ex. We're co-workers. What? Lawyer Shkirbakova is your ex. Yeah, well, what does it matter now? It really doesn't matter, professional ethics. I understand why they had such a smooth trial. Daria, wait a minute, you can't say that. I did everything for you to the maximum. What are you saying? You did the best for Shkirbakov. Daria, I understand you're upset, but you have other things to think about right now. I thought you're fired. He's already arrived and I'm not ready. Oh. Okay. Hello. Where's Jana? She's getting ready. She'll be out soon. Is there anything I should know? Allergies? Anything else? You should know that I don't believe a word you say, no matter how hard you try. You're not taking my baby away from me. I'm ready. Yana. Hi. Hi, Dasha. I came to apologize. You were right. It was necessary to tell everything about Tanya at once, but believe me, we have no conflict of interest. I'm ready to fight to the end. Well, if you take me back to work, of course. Of course I will. I apologize too. I was wrong. My emotions got the better of me. It happens. He just picked her up for the weekend. Oh, wow, thank you. What? Are you serious? So you don't have a house. You have a palace. It's not me, it's us. It's all yours? It's all yours. And the trees and the lawn and everything. And the trees and the lawn are all yours. Can I walk on it? Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Why aren't you impressed with the pool? I'll have Podopov fill it in. It's very beautiful, insanely beautiful, and the flowers are yours too. They're yours except for this one, of course, this one grew without our knowledge. Then we'll tear down the intruder. That's where he belongs. You're living in a fairy tale. Come and see your domain, your majesty. <laughs> this is your room. I didn't know what you like. 
So I bought everything. There's some clothes, a tablet, a game console, jewelry, makeup, and this thing on wheels. Giro board? Yeah, that's the one. Alice doesn't even have a room like this. Who's Alice? A girl in my class who's bugging me for being poor. Well, that's not true anymore. She'll never believe me anyway. I have an idea. Oh, you guys. What's the big deal? Weekend in the schoolyard. Well, I got an invitation to a party. Did you get one of these? Yeah, so is she serious? You got an invitation too? Yeah, I got one like this. I think it's a joke and I don't know why I came here. I don't know about you. I just came for a laugh. The party's at Jana's. What? Her crappy two-bedroom apartment? <laughs> Hey, girls. Holy shit. Let's go party. I'll hop in. Did you invite her too? Yeah, she's my friend. Come on, Jenna, look at you and her. She's just gonna ruin the whole party. Why don't you just let her go study for her homework? I'm not going with her. It's either me or her. I don't want to go with her either. Hi. Hey, look, we're a little short on seats. So we'll be there next time. I got it. Don't worry about it. Katya. Cool. I've never been in a limo. But what do you mean your dad paid for all this? Uh-huh. Who'd have thought it? By the way, where are we going? This is a surprise. So who's the star of the party? Jenna. One more time. Jenna. Well done. I'm thirsty. Do you have anything to drink? A majido, please. Majido? Non-alcoholic. Got it. All of you. Don't make excuses for her. She's my friend, okay? I got a better idea. Don't. If she's your friend, let her be happy for you.
Thank you. Thank you again. It was the best weekend of my life. I enjoyed it, too. I did my best. You didn't even dance with us at the disco. Oh, come on, you. I'm old enough to hang out with teenagers. I hope you won't have problems with your classmates now. I'm a star now, thanks to you. <laughs> See you next weekend, star. See you next weekend, Dad. <laughs> Daughter, get your bag. Yes, the bag. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. Daughter, hi. Hi. I have so much news. So much has happened. You have no idea. I've missed you so much these past two days. Wait. First of all, you'll get me dirty. And secondly, we first rode in a big limousine. And then we had a party, cool? Right. New stuff again. Yeah, my dad bought it for me. He bought me so much stuff, but I left it all at his place or at our place. He says that his house is now my house. Cool. Huh? What were you doing here? I was with Jaroslav preparing for the appeal. Why? Why are you ruining everything, Mom? I just got a father, the one I've always dreamed of. You had a father and he would love you if he were alive. You know, he's nothing to me and I don't think he's nothing to you either since you cheated on him. Please forgive me. I hate you. Yana, I'm sorry. Why didn't you come yesterday? I thought it was a stupid joke. Was it fun? Jana drove us around all day in her dad's limo with music, and then we hung out at her villa. Wow, so she has a daddy. And he's very rich. Richer than Alice? Hi. Jana, you had a great time last night. Come sit with me. Hi. Jana, you were great. Did you do what I asked you to do? The tickets and reservations are in the mail. Do you think mom will let Yana go? We'll see. Get started already. Why are you torturing yourself with it? Buy yourself a new one. Maybe I should get a new assistant. Not a cheap tour you've chosen. It's worth it. Maybe we should go shopping, buy some brand name clothes. What do you say? Hey, girls. Hello. Hi, Dad. Thanks for last night. It was really cool. Hi. Nothing's too good for my own daughter. By the way, did you guys go to Barcelona in high school? I booked us a trip. Are you serious? No, I thought you said you wanted to go to an amusement park. Let's go ride the coolest slides. Wow. Let's go take you to your mother. Tell her the news. Bye, girls. Bye. Have fun. Marina, take an order. Mom. Hi. Hi. 
Please forgive me. I didn't mean to offend you yesterday. And I'm sorry. I was wrong too. I'm sorry again. I love you very much. And I love you very, very much, even more. Can I go to Barcelona with my dad? He already bought the tickets. No. No? No. Mom, there are rides there. We don't have them. You know, I've always dreamed of it. Is he seriously going to take you somewhere? It's Barcelona, Mom. And everyone at school knows I'm going there. Please, Mom. I can't let you go abroad with a stranger. That man is my dad. No, Jana. He's a stranger, not your dad. And as long as you're underage, I'm responsible for you so that nothing happens to you. What could happen to me? You're paranoid, Mom. And I have to suffer for it. Dad, I told you. I told you. She'll never let me go. Jenna, calm down. I'll talk to her. Jenna, Yana, stop, please. Jenna, wait, Yana. Is this your idea of a trip to Barcelona? I will not let my child go abroad with you. Look, Jenna told me that Barcelona was her dream, so I figured why not? Don't you want to give your kid a vacation? I realize you don't trust me yet. Of course I don't. Then let's all go together. What? Me, you and Jenna, weekend in Spain. What do you say? A weekend in Spain. You threw mud on me in front of the whole court, in front of my child. What are you talking about? Now, remember, I will never and nowhere Yana with you will not let go. I will ensure that the court will prohibit you to see her. Please listen. I won't listen to anything. Listen to me? This is Barcelona. Look, this is not a normal situation. A complete stranger is trying to take my daughter abroad. I have a feeling that he wants to kidnap her and he is so cunning. He even offered me to go with them. I don't know what to do. Why don't you sit down, Dasha? Sit down and calm down. It's not that scary. Look, the thing is that Yana is not an adult and it's impossible to take her abroad without your consent. So he'll forge the documents. He did it with the clinic. Speaking of the clinic, when you had IVF, you must have kept some certificates, test results. Yes. Checks. Yes. Well, it would be great to find them to prove that you really had an IVF procedure and that Shkurbakov was really a donor. I don't know what to do. I've searched everything. Maybe you didn't look hard enough. No, it's all useless. That's what they all say, and then they usually find the right documents. So where are they? They are nowhere. I've looked through everything ten times. I don't understand if because of some papers he can get away with everything now. No, it's not. The information that you did the IVF can't disappear without a trace. Something is still left somewhere. So let's take another look here. Oh God, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay, right? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah? It's fine. What is it? Some kind of agreement. So it's... A contract to sell house. It's a contract for the sale of our old house. Yay. Why yay? I remembered. My husband and I used to live in a private house. And after my husband died, I sold it and bought this apartment. And there's a lot of old stuff in the attic. And there may well be receipts and IVF documents. How long ago did you sell the house? Fifteen years ago. And you think it's all still there? I don't have any other options. I think we should try. Let's try it. Let's go. I can't believe it. 
I lived half my life in this house. And judging by the closed shutters, no one's home. Ahad, the owners. The owners. There's no one. And in the attic, the window is open and the ladder is lying. It's lying there. Let's go. Just like that. Just like that. I have to warn you that what we're doing now is trespassing. Well, if you're worried, you can wait in the car. I can handle it myself. I'm worried. Get in, I'll hold it. Let's go first. I'll hold you, I'll take care of you. How tight is it? I'm holding it tight too, let's get up, come on, come on. All right. I'll be right there. I'll be right there, that's it. Thank you, we need the green box. This one? No, not that one, the big one. This one? Maybe they took it out, this one. Yes, come on. It's heavy, damn. This is all my stuff, give it to me. We're looking for a red folder, but not this one. These are old photos, it's not here. Maybe they threw it away. Shit. Let's look in the drawers again. What? Master. Hide it downstairs. This is it. This is our folder. With the papers? Yes. That's cool. That's gotta be it. Dasha, I really enjoy breaking the law with you. Why are we officially talking like this? Let's use the first name. Let's do it. I think he's gone. I think it's quiet now. Let's hurry up. Yeah, he took the stairs. Really? Uh huh. Well, there's another way out of the attic, through the house, but the landlord will see us that way. Let's wait until he leaves again. Let's do it. I'm gonna go check it out.
Yeah, what's up? He turned on the TV. Then let's wait till he falls asleep. Have a seat. It was much cleaner when we lived here. You're so beautiful and happy here. Yes. We were very happy. We really wanted a baby and Andrusha agreed to IVF. Can I? Yes. And now so many years have passed and she is quite big. And after so many years I am losing her, she is very distant from me. It's called transition age, it passes quickly. No, it's not puberty, she's angry and annoyed that we're poor. She thinks that if Andriesha were alive, everything would be different. But it is. You know, I'm so many years engaged in divorce proceedings and every time I see the same picture. When in the beginning people madly love each other. And then just as fiercely hate. Despite all the money in the world. It's a blessing that you carried your feeling through life. I wish I could do the same. And the most important thing is that with these documents we will win the case. I promise you. Thank you. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> why are you laughing? And why are you laughing? Quiet, quiet. Phone Jenna. Daughter, hello. Mom, where are you? Did you even look at the clock? I did. I'll be home soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Shall we go? Let's go.
Here are the results of the tests and certificates from the IVF clinic and payment receipts. I assume that these papers are forgeries. I ask you to appoint an expert examination. Objection on what grounds? On the grounds that the clinic where the defense says Daria Lopina underwent the fertilization procedure has no record of it. That means that either the clinic or Daria Lopina is lying, and the examination will determine who is lying. All right, the court appoints an expertise. What forensics? Come on. Calm down your client. All right. The next hearing will take place after the expertise is completed. Would you excuse me for a moment, please? Listen. You know that the documents are authentic. If they're authentic, why are you so excited? Listen, Tanya, stop bullshitting me. I know how you work. When Lopina approached you, you knew that Shkurbakov was my client. You could have said no, but you decided to take the case. Why? To prove to me that you're better. And you think I should have refused just because Shkurbakov is your client? It's a shame it's over between us. We were good together, weren't we? Okay. But we've already talked about it. <laughs> Hello? Don't worry about it. We'll go to Barcelona. Tell me honestly, why did you deceive me? When? When you said in court that you and mom were having an affair. I had to say that when I saw you. I realized that all my life I dreamed of such a daughter and could not lose you anymore. I've always wanted a father. I think your mom will soon realize there's nothing wrong with us hanging out. I doubt it. Don't worry about Barcelona. I'll figure something out. I promise. Okay. Shit. Jenny I'm so tired of this. We're wasting time. We got to talk to that mom differently. I agree. I have no time at all. I'll deal with her. Maybe to the hospital. The pills are in the car. I'll be right back. The expert examination has shown that the documents provided by the defense are not authentic. The previous court decision remains in force. Shcherbakov Gennady Ivanovich has the right to see his daughter. Well done, thank you. Dasha, Dasha, it's all right. He also bribed the court. It's okay. It's clear to everyone. Just listen to me. It was expected. I've ordered an examination in several other institutions. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine? Yes, don't worry. The results will come. We'll appeal. We'll nail him. So, wait. Dasha, no. You can't do that. Come to me. Come here. Don't. Don't. We'll solve everything now, calm down. What do you think? You bribed the court and you'll get away with it. Dasha, 
I won't give you my child, okay? Well, you're a fool. You all want to help to make your daughter had a good future, and you yourself miss this chance. Dasha. It's obvious that you have no children. Not everything in life is measured by money. How would you know? You've never had money. All right, all right. Dasha, calm down. You don't have to do that. Listen, for the duration of the trial, Yana should be taken somewhere. Is there somewhere? I'll think about it. Look at me, everything will be fine. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Come on, doctor. She jumped back at the last moment. Will she be all right? Don't worry. She'll be fine. Just a little concussion, some abrasions. I think we'll have her out of here in a couple of days. Oh, and please don't take too long. Uh, sure, hey. How are you? Tolerable. I filed a police report for the hit and run, but the car didn't have license plates. Did they want to kill me? Maybe. It's Skirbakov. Where's Yana? She'll be here soon. Mommy, how are you feeling? It's okay. It's okay, but you'll have to lie here for a few days, and then everything will be fine. Hi. What's he doing here? I asked him to come here. Dasha, it's terrible. What a terrible time we live in. So many crazy people on the road. We must always be on the lookout. It's good that you survive. What kind of circus is this? I know what you did. Did what? The car was coming at me. And if you think I'm going to be scared, you're very wrong. Mom, get out of here. Get out of here. Mom. What the hell are you doing, man? You are crazy. He'd kill me to get you. You must understand that. He's got nothing else to do, you know. I'm sick of you. Please take her home. Don't let her out of your sight. I beg you very much. Okay, okay, I'll do it. Just don't come to school with me. Jana, listen. Yan, call me when you're done. I'll pick you up. Strange, the laptop stopped slowing down. So naturally, I gave it to my guys to fix it. What? Well, you're the one who complained, so I took it to the repair shop. What? Stand up! Do you realize that in that laptop you and I will be sentenced to life in prison if they find out what's in it? It's all clear, don't you dare. Don't you dare ever touch my laptop. Stop threatening me. I don't understand what Shkurbakov has to do with this bullshit. Yaroslav accuses you of an attempt on Dasha's life and is going to sue. Let him sue. I think Dasha hit her head hard. I heard your mom's in the hospital. What's wrong with her? She was hit by a car. Is she alive? Yeah, she's fine. You're unlucky. What do you mean? Well, you wanted to live with your father all your life. If mom had died, that's what would have happened. Are you stupid? 
What did you say? Stop. I thought we were friends. Bitch. My god. They're idiots. Why do you hang out with them? I want to hang out with them. I decide who I hang out with. Is something wrong? I was driving by. I thought maybe you'd come to me while mom's in the hospital. My mom asked me to stay home. Whatever. I just didn't want you to be alone. Dad? Let me go with you. Sure, you stay with me for a couple of days. I'll talk to mom. Let's go, come on. Everything okay? Yes, sit down. What's wrong? What's wrong with him? It's okay. We need to go to the hospital right away. Okay, yeah. Thank you. He has oncology of the right kidney and the left kidney. It's underdeveloped. It can't cope with its functions. So what now? Unfortunately, the kidney with cancer failed today. He is getting worse and worse. Now he is undergoing a blood purification procedure. But the worst part is what the doctors say. Your father doesn't have more than a year to live. What do you mean, less than a year? Is there nothing that can be done? There is a possibility. But Gennady Ivanovich even forbade me to talk about it. What opportunity? He will be saved by a kidney transplant. But you realize that the search for a donor with a suitable kidney is a very long process and I'm afraid that Gennady Ivanovich may not live to see it. Ideally, a kidney from a close relative would be suitable. But he has no relatives. What about me? You're just a kid? Gennady Ivanovich will never agree to that. We need to get him home. Will you let me in? Are you still sleeping at the office? Yes, I do. How's Dasha feeling? She's fine. I'm sorry about what happened to her. Come on, Tanya. Why did you say like that? Look, what are you here for? To show how pathetic and righteous you are. I found your things at home and decided to return them. That's nice. Listen. Why don't we save the pizza for tomorrow and go to our restaurant and have a chat? I have a lot to do and I have to go to the hospital.
My hair is falling out from chemotherapy. I didn't tell anyone that I'm sick. I'm being treated anonymously in a private clinic. I'm taking tests there. That's why I'm wearing a wig. So that no one would guess. Otherwise, it's impossible. Business is for strong people. No one should know that I'm dying. You should have told me. I'm your daughter. Come on. Don't think about it. I just want to see you more often while I still can. Tell me, can a relative be a donor, right? Yes. I want to give you my kidney. You're the most precious thing I have. If I don't help you, you'll die. I really don't want you to die. Let's not talk about it. I need to get some sleep. Yes, of course. Hello. Hello, Jana. Yes, uh, hello. It's Yaroslav, the first on my way to my mom's and I'll pick you up. Don't. What do you mean? You don't want to see mom. Not today. I'm doing my homework. I'll still come by and see if you're okay. I promised your mom. I'm not home. Wait, where are you? At my dad's. What do you mean at my dad's? Okay, I'm coming. No, I'll stay with him. He's not well. And tomorrow I'll go to my mom's on my own. Bo, listen to me please. Yana, you can be at Shkurbakov's twice a week, on weekends, Vo. So now I'll go to Dash's and then pick you up. If necessary, I'll come with the police. I'm sorry, do you understand me? I've been looking for you in my office. They called from a clinic in Spain. They are ready to accept you for transplantation. The surgeon assured that everything will be anonymous. Well, the only thing left is to somehow get Yana there. As long as Dash is breathing, we can't get Jana there. We need to finish the job. You underestimate me. Now my man is in the hospital, and it's about this very thing. Get the wig. Daddy, I wanted to ask you something, Daddy. We need to be ready to leave at any moment. Then rent a private jet, no matter how much it costs. You think she'll go for it? Who? Jenna? Her concern is in my pocket. This fool herself wants to help me. I've been freezing all day today. But we have one problem. She has a heart defect and the surgeon said Jenna won't survive the operation. Who cares, we'll transplant a kidney and then we'll see what happens. It's cold.
есть. Hello. Man, where are you going? I'm here to see a patient, Daria Lapina, may I? Did you look at your watch? It's late. Yes, girl, I understand. I'll just be a few minutes, please. Are you her husband? No, I'm a lawyer. Is that okay? All right, but not for long. Thank you. Dasha, are you okay? Yes. It's okay, it's okay. Oh my god. Shit. I couldn't solve the issue with my mom. What do you mean? Eloy showed up at the wrong time. Shit. Listen, we can't stay here. They're Shkribakov's men. Let's go. Where's Yana? Shit. What? Say what? She's at his place. Jesus, how could you let her go to him? Yeah, I was gonna go after the hospital to pick her up. Yes. Hello, Jana. Daughter, urgently leave the house, Skrbakov, preferably so that he did not see you. Yes, Mom. What's wrong? Are you crying? Did he hurt you? Girl. Where are you going, my daughter? It's night outside. Jana, Jana. Let's go, let's go. There's no time. Let's go. She, she hung up on me. Let me out. I heard everything. You don't need me. You need a kidney and don't care if I die. Get her in the room. No, no, let me out. Find me a clinic and a doctor here. Quickly, but this place doesn't have the same high quality equipment and the chances of success are much lower. The girl will definitely die here. Are the chances lower? I'm dying myself. The girl's leaving. Stop her. Jenna, Jenna. Jump, jump back faster. Come on faster, jump. Lie down, lie down. Wait, wait, don't shoot. You hit the girl. <sighs> Girls, are you okay? Are you okay? Mom, please forgive me. He doesn't need me. He needs my kidney. He's dying. 
It was all for this. Shh, shh, can you hear me? I'm with you. I love you. Girls, let's calm down now and then we'll decide everything later. You're wounded. We need to go to the hospital immediately. No, no. We're not going to any hospital. A bullet wound. They'll report it to the police. I won't be able to protect you. I mean, he's the criminal, not us. There's no evidence against Shkurbakov. His assistant did the shooting, not him. And he's got people everywhere. He'll keep looking for us and he'll know where we are. He's already tried to kill you twice and he won't stop looking for Jana. Oh my God, what do we do? Do you know how to drive? I can drive. Okay, get behind the wheel. I'll show you where to go. Calm down. Now, I'll help you, come on. Who will help us here? Where to go? Natalia, Grisha's wife, is a doctor. She will help. Yerik, what happened? Grisha. Natasha. Quiet, quiet. Natasha, help. That's neat. In the hospital, cannot I? What happened? Get a dog, please. I'll tell you later. Right away. Come on, come on. Let's go in the house. Come on, come here. Come on, come on, my good. Come on, lie down to rest. I'll be right there. Carefully. Quietly, quietly. Yes, buddy, got you in the story. Sorry, Grisha. There was no one to turn to. No, you did everything right. The wound is very dangerous. The bullet passed at a tangent. I stopped the blood. I sewed up the wound. Now he needs to rest. You stay here. This house is just for guests. It's okay. You must be hungry. Now I'll feed you. Don't. Okay. Then in the morning, quiet, quiet. Are you all right? Quiet, quiet. Everything's fine. The transplant should happen as soon as possible. There's no doubt about it. I don't perform illegal operations, especially with a minor donor. Believe me, no one will know about this. Leave immediately. I'll pretend I've never seen you before. Hello? What do you think you're doing? Who do you think I am? Get out or I'll call the police. Why don't you call your wife first? Why? If I'm not mistaken, your very jealous wife owns this clinic and pays you a very handsome salary. So, shall we call? Where did you get this? Never mind. All right. Aha, uh -huh, the client and the donor ready. Almost, just a little hiccup with the donor, but we'll take care of it. You forgot the case.
tasty. Oh, it's really good. You don't get this in restaurants. Thank you. Let's have some peanuts. Why aren't you eating? I don't feel like it. She was so nervous last night. She'll eat later. Well, let the plate stand. Maybe she will eat. Let me help you. Thank you. Dennis, take Jenna and show her around. Come on. Okay, Dad, go for a walk. Fresh air and what cures all sorrows. We've all tried it. Go for a walk. Thank you. Give me a plate. It's lunchtime. I need to change the dressings. Thank you, Natasha. Thank you. And this is our dog, Aina. Do you want to pet her as you wish? In general, we have a lot of animals and wild ducks and domestic rabbits. But there is one more secret animal. Do you want to see? Let's go, let's go. Maybe. Let's go. Okay. Just be quiet. This is Jenna. She'll be helping me today. And this is Carl. He's the only goat here. We call him Karlik because of his size. And this is Mashka. She chews everything. Mom recently dried things on the street. So Mashka devoured dead socks. What a bully. Are you even listening to me? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? I see, by the way, you've probably never even seen a goat being milked. Do you want to try? Are we going to milk a goat now? Just kidding. I already milked them this morning. Now, help me clean up. I'll get the equipment. Knock, knock. Come on in. How are you doing? More or less. Do I have to lie down all the time? Well, today I need to lie down. Nice to see you and Grishka. Yes, we are happy here. So many years together, and even in such conditions. Normal here conditions. It's not a city where it's a stone jungle. It's so quiet. And here there is a river, a forest, a farm, and people here are quite different, good-natured. And we've become like that, and Daniska is growing up like that. Don't you ever fight? Of course we quarrel, but not for long. Give me your hand. Quiet, quiet. You can't take offense for long here. You have a lot on your mind, okay? How do you do it? Do you often help out in the kitchen like this? Natasha and I are equal. We try to help each other out in everything. While I'm programming, she takes care of the house. And when she's doing her own thing, I take care of the house. Wow. And you take Yerik some horrible medicine. Aha. Uh -huh. Natasha left it to infuse. It's probably time. Yeah, where are the kids? Don't worry, there's nowhere for them to go. Look, please. Okay, I'll take a look. Hi. Grisha said you need to drink. 
It's some herbal collection. Here you go. How is it? Rare nasty. <laughs> Thank you. No way. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what would have happened to us. Come on, Dasha, everything is fine. The main thing is to live. You were wounded because of me. It's not fatal. I assure you. I don't know what to do with Yana. She doesn't sleep. She doesn't eat. She doesn't accept me. I don't understand what I missed when we stopped hearing each other. Don't worry so much. It's not that bad. You just talk to her well, yes. Only not as a mother with her daughter, but here straight on an equal footing as friends. That she would understand that you see, hear, perceive, and you'll see everything will get better. I know what I'm talking about. I had it with my father. He worked very hard to provide for us. He thought that this is the main thing, and I terribly wanted to communicate with him, his attention, play with him, on bikes to ride, yes, just sit next to him, and he was never there, never at all. He was always at work. And now how do you communicate more? Dad died. I found out about it two months later. I'm sorry. It's okay. We haven't talked in years. I'm really sorry it happened. So I understand you very well. You have nothing to lose. You're right. Yeah, don't worry about it. She needs me as a friend now, and I forgot about that. Right. The kids are at the river. They said they'd be here soon. I'll go to them myself. Come on. I'm so sorry. For what? For not listening to you, for not understanding you, for bossing you around and making decisions for you. I don't know why I put you in that stupid private school and I didn't even ask you if you wanted to go there or not. We were supposed to decide together. We were supposed to decide together. I was supposed to ask your opinion. You end up nervous. I end up angry. And nothing good ever came of it. As you can see, let's go back to being friends like we used to be. I love you so much. Please forgive me too. I didn't believe you. And you're always right. I'm not always right. That's the point. And I like Dennis a lot, by the way. What are we going to do with them now? The goats are smart. They know what to do. And you and I will go and sit somewhere and look after them. How long are we going to watch them for? Until we get bored. Ouch. So you think it's funny, huh? You jumped up and down like that. 
It's not funny. I'd rather be with goats than with you. Let me wash your cup. Grisha, I'll wash it myself. Come on, come on, you need to lie down. Listen, I've already laid down. Listen, we have a little party here tonight. Food, dancing, bonfire, where you come. Well, the girls will probably come. They need to unwind, and I have nothing to go in. Old clothes in the blood, and no other. Look, if it's just clothes, I'll figure something out. What? By the way, you can call. No one will trace it. Thanks, Grisha. Well, they could not fall through the ground. Where is the lawyer's car? Well, judging by the cameras, left the city in a southerly direction. So? So we lost them. Good afternoon. You said Yaroslav wouldn't be a problem for us. Where is he? I don't know. Probably in his office. He's not in his office. Don't you know what happened? What he did with that crazy mom? They broke into my house, took my daughter and ran away. We can't find them. Why would he do that? I don't understand. Yaroslav, this is your problem. I beg you, find him any way you want, please. Do you hear me? Why are you offended? I won't tease you anymore. We'll see. Let's go swimming. Do you have a swimsuit? No. Dennis, please take it to Uncle Yaroslav. The first take care of the goat. Okay. Come on, my good ones, carefully. Let's go in. So wait for me at the river. I'll think of something with my swimsuit. Maybe not. And Dasha, Dad asked me to tell you. Quiet, quiet. He's sleeping. It's for Yaroslav. Thanks. How is Yana? She's fine. We're going to the river now. Come on, run. Is it hot? A little, but it's beautiful. Look at that. What are you doing? Jump to me. No, 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 no. I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. I'll back you up. Hi. Hi, how are you? A better listen. I've been thinking. I think I know how to deal with Shkurbakov. What are you talking about? You can't hide all the time, sooner or later. He's gonna find us. I'm afraid you won't like what I'm about to say. So? But I don't see any other way. I think Tanya will help us. You're feeling well? Is it the medication that's affecting you? Tanya has access to all of Shkirbakov's cases and she'll help us build a case to put him away. Tanya is Shkirbakov's lawyer and you told me she's bribing him. Believe me, she'll be the first one to turn us in. Listen, Tanya doesn't always work honestly, but believe me, I know her very well. She will never get involved with the killer. She doesn't know Shkurbakov's true plans for Yana and she truly believes in his fatherly feelings and once the whole truth comes out, I assure you, she won't help him. Do you believe that? I beg you, let it be anyone but her. Okay, I shouldn't be doing this. 
I'll think it over. Think about it, please. Grisha sent you. Well, you're certainly cool. Even I didn't learn it right away. I want more. Let's go. Tomorrow we'll go for sure. Yes. Okay. Let's go. How was it? It's unusual to see you not in costume. Me too. I'm going to warm up. The kids are coming. Shall we go to the party? Yes. Hello, it's me. I need to talk to you off the phone. Where are you? I'll come? If Shkurbakov finds out, people will get hurt. I promise I'll be alone. I have to prepare Dasha for your visit. I'll call you back. This is insanely delicious. Finally, my child ate well. My mom is happy. Let me invite you in. Go on. <laughs> oh my god, they're so beautiful. Ah, uh, how are you feeling? Excellent. In fact, I'm ready to dance. Really? I'm not threatening, I'm serious. All right, sir. I accept your invitation. Here you go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. Did it hurt? And I forgot. I think it's too early for you to dance. Yes. I suggest we just walk. I agree. Like Jana dances. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For the first time in many years I see my daughter really happy. Well, that's great. You forget about everything else. Yeah, I want to be here forever. Sorry to interrupt, but we need to talk. What's she doing here? Did you call her? Dash, look, it's not exactly what you think it is. I mean, all of this you're saying I'm imagining right now. Dasha. Now let's talk calmly. How did you find me? Well, when you called me, I heard goats. I remembered that you called me to Sunny Luck, but you were here, decided to come. In short, do you know that Shkurbakov is looking for you? He's not looking for me, he's looking for Yana, 
He needs her for a kidney transplant as a donor. Did you know about it? What? Jana has a heart threshold. Surgery will kill her and Shkirbakov knows it. Are you sure it's true? I am. And if you help him now, you're an accessory to the murder of a child. Okay, let's say it's true. Let's say it's true, and what do you suggest I do? Put him away. You have access to his files and who but you can help. Well, first of all, I don't have access, and you and I both know that all his businesses are fake. The evidence would have to be worked on. So let's do it, we're running out of time. Second of all, let's get to the point. His business dealings are one thing, but you're telling me now that he's preparing to murder his own child. Exactly. Isn't that a bit harsh, even for Shkurbakov? And with this news you're trying to get me to give up my client, that's fine, colleague. Tanya, listen, Shkirbakov's life depends entirely on Yana and he will stop at nothing. Why did you even get involved in all this? Listen. I ask you very much, let's go away. It will be better for you. It will be better for me. We'll be fine. Please, let's go away with me now. Tanya, I'm not going anywhere. Is she that important to you? They'll just get killed. That's all, Tanya. Help me, please. The best I can do is stand back and don't interfere and don't tell anyone I was here. Okay. So you're just gonna watch a kid get killed. What are you doing? Leaving, thanks to you, Shkurbakov now knows where we are. Look, Tanya won't tell on about us. Tanya will. That's where she is now, where she's gone. So soon Shkurbakov will be here. So look at me. I know what I'm doing. Do you believe me? That's it, that's it, that's it. So what can I do? They're nowhere to be found. You'd better look for them. Did you talk to the cops? I've talked to all of them. Is there anything you want to tell me about your daughter? What? Tell me what? Like about the kidney transplant and her heart threshold. Your lawyer told you that. Where is he? I don't know. He called me from an unknown number. But if it's really true, it's a premeditated murder. I'm not going to cover it up. Since when did you become such a saint? What? You find me, my daughter, with or without your lawyer. Do you understand me? I can't hear you. Do you understand me? Yes. I have nothing to lose. I'll kill you. You're free to go. You think you can trust her? No. Track where her cell phone's been turned on in the last 24 hours. All right. Here you go. Come in. Mm. 
Yaroslav promised that Dasha will come to talk to you, and then you decide how to get to your daughter through her. Really? Dasha's coming. Well, from the looks of it, she really needs the money. The number's undetermined. Yeah, that must be her. Yes. We need to talk. I'm at the business center at the entrance. Well, come on up, Desha. I'll only talk to you in a public place, here in the lobby. I'm not going up to the office. Bitch. Let's go. Where's the woman? There was no one. Check the street. Tanake. Dash is nowhere to be found. Screw her. Let's go get Tanya. She's got my computer. Hurry up. How's the wound healing better? It's doing great now. Don't be a hero. It's a slow healer, but I think it's gonna be okay. Hi. Hi. Hello. I have all the information on Shkurbakov's front companies. Grisha is your computer expert. Yes, Natasha. I'm asking you very much. Please call Grisha. Okay, Grisha. I also saw a folder with the results of tests for transplantation. Grisha, come here, come here. I took a picture. Thank you. Already? Here, come on, come on. Oh, what an old patient we have. Here's the password. Let me see. Well, well. Well. What is it, Grisha? Everything is ready. What already? Well, you're good as quickly. Wow. Yes, it's a piece of cake. Okay. If anything, call me. Grisha, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, here it is. Here it is. What is it? Everything is here. Listen. All the information on Shkurbakov is here. All his companies are fake. All the accounting, all the machinations, everything is here. I don't understand the fraud. He almost killed me twice. He kidnapped my daughter, not to mention the transplant he's planning. Yes, but we have no direct evidence and Shabrakov is still considered Yana's father. You took pictures of the clinic documents. We're all witnesses. We can confirm it. Yes, but for now we can only accuse him of fraud. When he is arrested, we will look for evidence in your case. Tanya, Tanya. What? To speed up the case, we have to go to the prosecutor's office right now with these documents. I'll go with you. No, I'll go alone. Tanya. I'll manage, especially if you're hurt. And you stay here and keep your head down. I'll be right back. Tanya, thank you so much for supporting and helping us. You know, you were right. Money doesn't always carry the weight. I'll call you when I get out of the prosecutor's office. Thank you. She'll call when she has news. Well, I'm sorry I didn't believe about Tanya. 
Come on. Sometimes I don't believe myself. Don't move. I got a gun. Get in the car now. Come on, come on. You're right. Tanya, you went to them. But you didn't say a word instead of telling me where Yena stole my laptop. I believed until the last minute that you're not like that. It's one thing to protect you, but it's another to help kill a child. That's how you sing. There's a tracker on the laptop. I've learned everything I need to know. I don't need you anymore. Let's see what we got here. Oh, my God, a fish. Can I have it? Sure. Oh, God. I like to catch fish and then roast them on the fire. So you're going to kill it? Yeah. It's a shame. Why don't we let it go? Whatever you want. Can we really? Yes. Great. I didn't think it could be that easy. What do you mean? I used to think it was impossible to imagine life without a new phone, without clothes. Now with you I realize that the most important thing is to have good people around. You're smiling more often. It suits you. It's all because of you? <laughs> what? I've never been kissed. I'm sorry. I won't forgive you. Is someone there? I think so. Well, I'm almost done. We're about to have dinner. The kids should be back by now, and they're still not here. I'll go get them. What's up? Nothing. I can't reach Tanya. She should have left the prosecutor's office long ago. Dennis? Jenna? Dennis. Jenna. Dennis. Dennis, son, Dennis. Dennis! Natasha, we have to do something. They should be back by now. 
Dasha, Grisha has already gone after them. Why so nervous? Where can they be? Natasha. What happened? Oh my god, quiet, quiet, careful, bring my first aid kit quickly, quiet, quiet, son. Where's Yana? Give me the smelling salts, quick. Where is Jana? I saw a car pulling away. Yana was nowhere to be found. Dennis was unconscious. Come on, come on. Hold on, good boy, good boy. Dennis, can you hear me? Tell me please, where is Yana? They took her. Who are they? Two men. They hit me on the head with something. I told you. Dasha, Dasha, wait a minute. Only Tanya could tell where we are. That's why she's not answering the phone. She couldn't. Who could? She could have been followed. She's with Skirbakov and we have no allies. The only thing we can do is go to the police now. Okay, wait for me. Hurry up. I understand everything, but where can I find her? Do you know where the transplant will take place? Tatiana, Shkirbakov's lawyer knows. I can't reach her. How do you say the name of the lawyer? Her last name is Yerina. Great, we'll find her now. I told you from the very beginning she can't be trusted. Dasha, let's find out. She's with them. She's here. Hello, I'm from the police. We need to talk to her. I just gave her a sleeping pill. Tanya, look at me, please. Tanya, Tanya, it's me. Look at me, Tanya. Can you hear me? She can't hear anything. Tanya, please remember where they took her. Tanya, where they were going to do the operation. Can you hear me? Name the place. Tanya, please. Shit. Now you'll get anesthesia and count from 10 to 0. Come on, my torture is finally over. Count. 10, 9, 8. No, no, let me in. Shut your mouth. And if you say anything else... Now step aside, you're in the way. Jenna, Jenna. Mom. Jenna. Mom. How's my kidney? Was the operation successful? The operation was extremely successful. Now you're looking at 10 years in prison. <laughs> come on, my little one, come on, come on. Let's go, my dear. So that's the way it is, in fact, Tanya, if it wasn't for you. We never would have arrested Shkurbakov. But you realize that most likely the court will take into account his state of health and will probably get house arrest. For God's sake, let him sit at home. The main thing is that he was deprived of parental rights and he has no right to go near either Yana or Dasha. That's good. Shkirbakov promised to take me with him. Where's he gonna take you? First of all, you have a powerful lawyer. Get well, Tanya. Everything will be fine and you can always count on me.
May I? <laughs> Hi. Hey, am I late? Jen is not out yet. So, let's go home. Hi. Yes. Home. Soon vacation. I even know how we're gonna spend it. How? At Grisha, he will be glad to see us. Are you happy? Great idea. Great. Let's go.